Today I'm going to take you on the Camelback Mountain Echo Ridge Trail. This is one of my favorite trails here in Phoenix, Arizona. I've done it numerous times to get my hike in after work. It's relatively short, but it's very steep and challenging. Um, so I'll show you some of the high points and what to expect if you go on this trail. It's very popular. Parking can be a challenge. Um, and you want to make sure that you're physically fit if you go on this trail. Bring water. I've seen a lot of people get into trouble by not bringing water, not going prepared. This is not an easy walk in the park. Let's see what's up. Parking is always a challenge uh, in high season here at Camelback Mountain. Often on busy mornings, the park ranger will close off the parking and you won't even be able to enter. Um, I am here in October. It's in the evening, kind of before uh, sunset here. Uh, and you can see there's plenty of parking spaces now. In high season, you are gonna have a struggle finding a parking spot on like a Saturday morning. Like, good luck is all I have to say. This is a very popular trail uh, and parking can be a challenge. My rule of thumb is if I can't find parking on Camelback Mountain, I go to Piestawa Peak, which is another local mountain, and there's usually plenty of parking there. The trailhead here at Camelback Mountain has nice restroom facilities, flush toilets, you know, soap to wash your hands, drinking fountains, so nice facilities as far as uh, a trail like this goes. First things first, don't be a dummy. Don't come unprepared on this trail. It's sunny. Bring your sunblock if you need it. You see my I have my sun protective gear on today. Bring plenty of water. Don't hike this trail without water. I see rescues on this trail often for people who get dehydrated. Come prepared. This first section of the trail is pretty straightforward. Um, but things are going to get a little more interesting just up ahead. That's where it starts to get interesting. It's right about here where you realize that this is not a normal trail and that it requires a little bit of climbing. The next pitch of difficulty here. I'm letting you know that this is not a regular trail. Third pitch of difficulty here. Climbing up the boulders. There's a cool little arch up here on the trail. Most people miss it. I'll show you where it's at. When you see this sign, it says use caution bees is just going to go past that and there it is the arch is usually a good spot to catch a break it's uh, usually like 10 or 15 degrees cooler in there so if you're feeling overheated that's a good place to stop and take a break. This final hill, it's long and it just keeps going up and it always gets me. Regardless of your fitness level, this one's going to press your resolve and make you wonder if you're going to make it to the top. Here at the top of that last long steep section that'll push your resolve. Gonna keep going up here. There's one final section to go upward and we'll be at the summit. Final push. Uh, final push to the top.
You can see they just opened up the other Choya Trail. It goes down this way here. Total summit time was about 45 minutes for me. I'm a pretty solid hiker, so that's a pretty quick time. Um, I would say if you're not as quick of a hiker, it could take you an hour and a half, maybe even two hours, depending on how many breaks you take. Um, so come and bring yourself ample time to do this hike. The parking lot and the trail are open sunrise to sunset. If you stay after sunset, there will be a park ranger that will happily put a ticket on your vehicle, so you don't want that. So plan ahead. Overall, I would say this would be a good trail if you want a challenge while you're in the Phoenix area. Uh, I would not recommend this tra trail if you are um, not very physically fit. Uh, of course, you could come up the trail and there's interesting sections even if you don't make it to the top. So, you know, come check it out. There's places where you can do a picnic, enjoy just kind of getting out of the city while you're still in the city. So this is a really interesting spot. Come check it out. But if you do go up, go prepared, bring water. I've seen several people get dehydrated, um, have to be rescued up here. Uh, some people have died. So um, it gets really hot. There's a lot of sun exposure. So come prepared and have some fun out there.